Hey guys, Dub Cuban here, and today you're watching my long-awaited tutorial on how to mod a Dion Pyraminx to make it extremely good. Okay, so before we actually get into the tutorial itself, I should basically tell you guys what we're going to be going over. Okay, so the first thing is that we all know that the down pyramid is a bit locky, and one of the main reasons for that is the flooring cuts aren't so deep, as well as they're not so even, so it causes lots of lockups and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and first of all work on that, and just make them a lot overall a lot more even, a lot more smoother, and the flooring cuts a lot more deep. And the next thing is probably one of the biggest things, how to remove the ball bearings from this as well, and how to replace those with different springs, like shank shell if needed, but it feels a lot better just overall without them. And then the last mod, we'll be going over a couple of tip maintenance. You can do a couple of little tip mods to perform on these just to make the tips overall a lot better. Because we all know that these tips aren't so good. Okay, so here on the screen is a list of list of things you're going to need for this mod. It's not too much stuff, but some of it is optional, like the replacement of springs. And I do recommend using lube though for this, so let's actually get into it. Okay, so now we just got to go ahead and pop the puzzle apart, which is the most funnest part about this whole thing. Take out all the edges. Remember to keep them all extremely organized for this mod. That's one of the most important parts when it comes to modding cubes. So set the edges aside, and then so you just have the core with the centers. And then just take apart the caps just like that. Remember not to lose that ball bearing. It's super easy to lose. Just grab those. The spring itself and the ball bearing take that apart. You should know what to do from here. Just go and disassemble the centers and hardware from the core and just separate that and then I'll get back to you guys after that's done. Okay, so now that we've got our full cube disassembled here, we can go and start off with the Florian mod in itself. So this cube is already pretty decent with the Florian mod. We're just going to improve a little bit on it. Now you can use whatever you want, sandpaper. I'm going to just use sandpaper since I didn't charge my Dremel. But we're going to start off with the center pieces right here, which won't take much. So we'll start off by doing a center piece here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this little point right here to re reduce a little bit of locking up. As well as we'll just improve on this Florian cut they've got already going on right here. So we'll just start off by going like this. Just a little bit, just enough so it's just slightly sanded down a little bit. Don't forget, it's already a pretty decent Florian cut. We just need it to go down a little bit more. So we'll just get that down to a nice little... A little more round just like that and then we'll set the piece of sandpaper on the edge of a table so we can get this little corner off like that which I'll show you guys in a second. And as you're sanding this down again you want to make sure that all these centers are as even as possible and there you go that's the full corner rounded down you can see that that point is almost completely gone you don't want to get it too much gone because it sort of acts as a guide sort of but you just want to get it just enough so it's slightly rounded down and not as jagged. Okay, so this is what the complete center looks like. As you can see, all we really did was improve a little bit on the Florian cut just to make this overall design a lot more fluid and a lot more smooth, just to reduce the catching. catching. You don't really need to sand down this side unless you just want to speed up that break-in process, but I don't recommend doing that because it's already pretty smooth itself, so you don't really need to sand that down very much. Now that we've got all four centers done, you can see it turned out very nice. It didn't take very much at all. We're just improving. Time to actually get to one of the more... A little more important parts is the edges, and it's very important to keep the edges mod as similar as possible to the centers, or else it'll look really funky. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to go and do here for the edge. So we're only going to be doing this bottom part closest to the torpedo, and this bottom part closest to the torpedo. So it's not like a, um, a Shang Shao Florian mod, we're not going too in depth, we're just going to sand it down just a little bit, just to improve on the overall design just slightly enough. Now you can see how this is nice and flat. You don't want to go down too much that it's completely uneven or else we'll have lots of catching. So you just want to slightly round it down a little bit just so it's gone down a little bit just to increase the corner cutting a little bit and to decrease lockups. So I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done here. So as you can see it didn't take much because you're not doing a lot. You're just doing it just a little bit just so it goes down just like a millimeter. Not even that. So you can see it's still pretty much even on the top layer. So I'll show you guys here how I did it. You just hold it like this and just do a nice circular round motion just like five to six times. Not You don't need to push down super hard. And there you go. It's nice and round. Okay, so now we're done with the hardest part of this thing, the Florian Ma. Now I'm going to go and show you guys how to remove the ball bearing from this. It's pretty simple, but I'm just going to go and go over this, guys, to show you guys how to do it because it's not too difficult. 
So if you're going to, you can try using different springs. But for me, I'm just going to completely remove these. So all you're going to do here is you're just going to stick your fingernail underneath this top little part like that. So I'm going to show you guys now how I open this up. So what I'm going to do is take a big end of the pen and stick it in there like that. And just kind of wiggle it around. And now as you can see, it starts to come apart. Now if it doesn't come apart at first, just kind of wiggle it around. Are you going to just Okay, so now that you've got the fully disassembled center, there's three things you can really do. First of all, you can just leave it the same, which I actually don't recommend doing. What I do recommend doing, um, either way, is just cutting off one end of the prong off the spring just to reduce the clickiness. Um, that will just overall allow the clickiness to be a lot less clicky and, and allow the cube to be a lot more fluid overall. But what I do recommend doing the most is removing the ball bearings itself and keeping these springs because later on in the video I'm going to show you guys okay so you reassemble this just like you do to a um a a tip so you'll just put two together like this leave them slightly opened and you'll push it in like that and then you'll push these two pieces together like so so they're holding it, the bottom piece in. And then what you'll do is you'll grab this last one here just like that. And then you'll find the wide part, which is right here. Then you'll just slide that in there just like the, you do with the tip. It's <clears throat> so now we're going to go and move on to the hardware part of this mod. So this part's completely up to you. But if you take a look at the spring that stock comes with this, it's actually pretty high tension. Now, if you're like me and you don't like high tension springs, what I recommend doing is taking the spring from the ball bearing and using that instead of the spring that it comes with, the spring for the hardware, because using that ball bearing spring, it makes the spring a lot softer and the overall cube performs much better in my opinion. So it's completely up to you, but that's what I like to use instead of using the standard really hard tension spring. So yeah, just go and do that to all your springs, but that's what I recommend doing, but that's up to you. So I'll get back to you guys after I've done all of that. Now the next thing to do is to lubricate the hardware, which is very recommended. So grab your preferred lube. I recommend using Traxxas 50k for this. But just do take a little bit of lube and drop it inside the little chamber in there just a little bit. And then take your spring and spring and washer off your screw. And then towards the bottom down here, see the little flat part? I recommend putting a little bit of lube down on that. Um, yeah, lubricating the hardware makes the puzzle feel a lot better as well. So go and do that to all of yours, and then I'll get back to you guys. Now comes to one of the more important parts, in my opinion, lubricating. So where I usually put this on is the first part is I'll put some right here along this. Because this is where a lot of the torpedoes will rub, so I'll put some down here. And then along this line right here where the pieces connect, I'll put some lube on there on both sides, actually. All three sides. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I'll do for lubricating the centers. I'll do it to two out of four so the cube isn't extremely gummy. So I'll show you guys how to do the edges now. So for the edges, I'll usually just like the same thing. I'll follow the line down here like this. Do that on both sides. I'll do this to about three of the edges. Not all, um five of them or whatever amount there is all six of them I'll do it to about three and then I'll do a little bit underneath the, the torpedo a little bit just where there's a little bit of rubbing just like that and before you reassemble the puzzle don't forget to lubricate your core a bit because that's very important because the core is like the heart of your puzzle so um, there's one last lubricating part and it comes the tips so it's very important to put a little bit of lube inside one of these little holes as you can see in there I recommend putting a little bit of lube inside one of those because as you know, these tips are very sluggish and very slow. So I'll usually put a little bit of lube on top like that, and then a little bit inside one of the little holes. And don't forget to do that to every single one of your centers. And one last optional part, to lubricate the hardware of the tips, is you can put a little bit of lube down inside the hole right there. 
It won't do much, but it's it's kind of nice just to put a little bit in there just to maintain the springs tensions. It's nice just to put some in there. So from here on out, you guys should pretty much know how to reassemble the puzzle. Um, I'll probably get back to you guys once we get to the tips because that's a little bit tricky part. So yeah, go and reassemble your puzzle and I'll get back to you guys once that's done. Okay, so now comes one of the more hard parts is putting the springs and tips back on. So um, if you want, you can remove the ball bearings from the tips, but I really don't like to do that. Okay, so before you put these tips back on, it's very important that your cube is already properly tensioned. Because if it's not, then you have to take them all the way apart. So make sure it's tensioned first. So you're just going to push this spring down just like this. And you're going to slide this um, tip, these two tips on top. And you're just going to keep pushing down until you hear it snap into place like that just did right there. So after you hear it snap into place, you're going to grab the last piece like this. Make sure you have that flap on the bottom. And you're just going to slide it on in there until it's even.